Hello everybody. Um to start off this video, I have kind of a major headache right now. I went to Harbor Freight, uh which is a really great hardware appliance store and um I hope you can see me. Um having I can't don't worry about it. Um and I got a major major headache. Uh something about that town. I think I like breathed a bunch of gas fumes on the highway or something. So I took a nap for an hour. I've been drinking a lot of water. I took a pill. But I, I still feel kind of, you know, like hazed at the moment. But um, let me show you what I bought because it's pretty cool. I have, this is the big purchase. A six inch cutoff saw. Which is, you know, awesome. But um, that is going to be, all right. I have to backtrack a little bit. Tonight, uh, I'm going to get this cleaned up down here. This, my basement's a mess. Um, very much a mess. This is my work table at the moment. And I have this one over here that I keep the, uh, whatever that's called on it, scroll saw. This table is being cleared off. We're putting a light above there. And the scroll saw is being moved over there as well as the uh, cutoff saw, the drill, and the Dremel, which is around here somewhere. So that's going to be the designated cutting table, and this is going to be the designated everything else table. So there's not going to be any uh, cutting shards on this, because that was really starting to annoy me. And uh, that table is going to be cleared off and used for its original purpose, which is just uh, to have my laptop and sometimes my netbook to watch movies down here on, and, you know, look up. Uh, stuff on the internet while I'm working. So, um, this is all going to be cleaned over tonight, and my girlfriend is actually coming over to help me with that because she's really organized, which is nice because obviously I'm not. But, um, I just wanted to give you a overview of what it looked like down here before we cleaned it up. Alright, anyway, uh, as I said, a little haze, so I'm kind of all over the place right now. Uh, but yeah, that's the big purchase. Let's empty out other stuff I got. The other big purchase was this, which is uh, a nice airbrush. I've been meaning to get into airbrushing for like a year now. Just never kind of got around to it. So I have an airbrush, so I'm going to start out with that. Um, I got a spring set. Just some generic springs. I got one of these from Home Depot a while ago. And uh, I, I still have a lot of them, but I've used some of the really nice ones, so I want another one. This was like six bucks for 200 springs, so Harbor Freight's great. Um, some mixing jars for paint for the, uh, uh, what's that thing called? Airbrush. Scissors. These are cutoff wheels for the um, cutoff saw. Cut off wheels for cut off saw. That makes sense. I got a new face shield because this one uh, snapped there. So I got a new one of those. That was like three bucks. I love Harbor Freight. It's great. Um, tubing for the airbrush. That's a regulator for the airbrush to hook it up to the air compressor. I got another screwdriver because I keep losing my screwdrivers. Like I have a bunch of them, but I had this really nice one with a... Uh, blue and yellow handle, and I lost it. I misplaced screwdrivers like it's nobody's business. It's a problem. Um, that's actually for my dad. He wanted that. And what else is in here? Another mixing jar. Is that it? Yep, then it's just paper. So that's it. Uh, I spent a little under 100 on this. I think it was like 95 This was 40 bucks. Which is which is really nice. That's why I bought it. The airbrush was like fifteen, um, six. The, these were like ten. I don't know. The regulator was expensive. That was like ten, and the tubing was like I don't know. But um, overall, I saved a lot, a lot, a lot of money going to Harbor Freight because anywhere else that would have been like a hundred bucks. So I'm pretty happy. Um, you're probably seeing that and wondering, hey, wasn't that on the Vulcan? Uh, no. I made two. And I need to sit down and talk about that. So, um... 
I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now, I guess. Um, last time you saw the axle over there, and then I just uploaded a video of this shooting uh, single fire uh, with the, uh, the bolt action. I pulled it back, and the barrel would rotate, and then I'd shoot it. Um, I made this turret, and I put it on, and it worked great. Except that these barrels are too thin. They are less than an inch on the inside. I had ordered, um, I don't remember the exact measurement, but I know it was at least an inch on the inside. I think it was like an inch and an eighth. And uh, that turned out to be the outer diameter. And that kind of pissed me off. So uh, when I made this turret, these barrels are too thin. What would happen is it would be on the Vulcan and it would rotate and uh, the dart would bounce around in that barrel, which was my fear as the beginning, which I expressed in the last uh, fabrication video. Well, it became a reality, and I got pissed. So, um, I often get pissed when things don't work, which is, you know, understandable. I ordered something, this which is much, much bigger tubing. This is actually polycarbonate in a tube. And I ordered that from McMaster. It went straight to the source. Don't, don't know why I didn't do that originally. But um, let's get the size comparison. Old tubing, new tubing. The old tubing actually fits inside the new tubing and has a lot, a lot of wiggle room. This stuff is an inch and an eighth on the inside. So uh, what's nice about this is here's one inch PVC. This is... Uh, more room uh, or a larger diameter on the inside than one inch PVC and a smaller diameter on the outside. It's also made out of a more lightweight material. So this is thinner, just as sturdy, and about three times as light as normal PVC. So I made the new turret out of that. And this turret is absolute genius. I didn't even have to cut a template for it, which was nice, because those take forever. Um, this, this turret is amazing. Uh, I am going to add rings around the outside just for cosmetics, but it is fully done and awesome. And shiny. But it won't be after it's painted. Um, the way this works, this doesn't have any connections uh, vertically like this one. It just has one screw that bolts it on right there. So that's the only screw. And all these barrels are perfectly aligned, which is really, 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 really cool. Um, and what I did is there's one of these on the inside, and then on the inside of that I have a coupler, a half inch coupler, and then half inch PVC pipe, and then a half inch PVC end cap. And inside that I have 19, 19 30 seconds brass, that's right, which slides over the 9 sixteenths and locks because the end of the brass is beveled a little bit, so it's smaller than the rest of it. So when it slides over, it gets that end piece and it locks there. And then, on top of that, that screw holds it in place. So it rotates really, really nicely, not having any problems there. And um, yes, this is a little misaligned because the uh, belt, the uh, whatever you'd call that, was misaligned. Let's open this up. But um, when everything is as it should be, it lines up just about right. If I look down the right barrel. I'm not very good with this camera. And it works. Um, there's one barrel that's a little slightly misaligned, but um, that's just one barrel. So the other, and normally the dark gets out even that barrel totally fine. But uh, the video I uploaded this, you guys said the darts were shooting down, and yes, that's correct. If you look at this turret from the side, you notice it's sloping down a little bit? That's going to happen, because this turret is heavier than that one. Let me show you this. That's how much wiggle room this turret has. Oop, gonna tip my chair over. I feel a lot more awake now that I've started talking and actually thinking. I just got up from a nap. So you can see how much that turret moves up. What's gonna go here is the spacer, just like I put in this one. That is going to go right here. The problem with that is then I'm going to block that screw hole, so I'm, I'm still thinking a way around that. I'm thinking like magnetize something here that's removable, but I don't know yet. Um, so I'm going to put the spacer there, and then my metal support bar is going to come right here, which will raise this turret, so the darts will no longer hit this edge and go down. So once this turret is raised, 
um, the darts do go their full length, and there's not a single problem, and I get really happy, and it's fun. Um, the reason I didn't do the uh, the last video I uploaded full auto was because I do not want to put that much strain on the motor until these barrels are lifted. It does do full auto right now, but it's kind of bad for it because there's a ton of weight in this turret that it's not used to handling. So as soon as I get that lifted, I'll get up a video of it shooting full auto. And uh, as soon as that's done, the whole blaster is pretty much done. You know, besides the paint, but the actual functionality is pretty much done. There's a couple other things I want to patch up, but I'm really impressed with how quick I got this done. Especially for, you know, the project it is. I think that's all I had to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope I sounded a little better than I feel right now. And I'll get back to you once this is cleaned up and I have the new stuff installed, I guess. Bye. Oh, yeah, I salute. Yeah, see you guys later.